episode 10 of The Journeyman, and already I'm struggling a bit for puns with Belarusian team names. Waiting for Grodno? Hey everyone, welcome along. It's Tony here. Hope you are well. This is episode 10 of The Journeyman. As you know, we are managing the other Arsenal, Arsenal Zerzhinsk in Belarus. We have finished our first full season in charge and got promoted. We're in the highest league. That's amazing. Very, very happy with that. Can't wait to get started. Uh, in, fact, in all the excitement of the last episode, we didn't do the end of season uh, review. It's a bit of a new thing for Football Manager 21, so let's stick it in. Let's go and, and, you know, give the guys the credit they deserve. They worked hard last season, you know. If you haven't seen last season's videos, go check them out. All of the uh, the links are below. Uh, there might even be a little sort of banner up the top here that gives you a bit of a, oh, come and watch the last video. Um, obviously, you know, if you subscribe to the channel, if you're brand new, then you'll get your notifications and you'll be able to play catch up anyway. So so do all that. And uh, These are the players that we brought in last season. Brinchuk was just a machine. I mean, 27 goals in 23 starts you know that's what you need that's the guy that that shot us to the top of the uh, of the league uh, and got us promoted uh, Smirnoff is a defender who's only going from strength to strength Kapski came in Kapski came in uh, as, a, as a right back slash defensive midfielder so happy with him Kovlovich came from our rivals which we have created a rivalry from Volnapinsk he's been on loan and was brilliant, absolutely brilliant at right wing. Uh, Kaborda was was a defender who's come in, done a job, very solid. Maybe stays this year, I don't know. Uh, Grishkesh, Grishishko, um, the pronunciations are terrible. Um, he was a bit of experience at centre half, and uh, and he came in and just you know uh, showed up the defence a little bit just as we got towards the business end of the season. Uh, players, of course, did leave. Uh, you know, Galetsky, sad to see him go. A youngster could have done something. Um, you know, he went to leader, didn't really play a lot, to be honest. Uh, Shumilov didn't really play a lot once he went. Went for big money. Look at that, three thousand uh, pounds. Uh, Miroyevsky uh, Mira, Mira, uh, went for just shy of four thousand pounds. He again didn't really play a great deal. Um, you know, Blinken has gone. Uh, we pretty much lost most of our defence. Kajiev went as well. Um, so, you know, it was a bit... It's going to be a rebuild, I think, in the summer, to be honest. See what we can do. Uh, there's the final standings, as you can see. You know, we, we, we did finish second. We we were leading the league at some point, but then, you know, it just started to just started to slip and we were drawing too many games. I mean, look at 11 draws, uh, which is the most in the league, actually. I didn't even know that until this point. Only four defeats, but yeah, 11 draws is what costs us. And we limped over the line, if I'm honest as well, uh, to get promoted. Uh, biggest win of the season, 5-0. We had a 3-0 against Leader, which was the match to remember. And the goal of the season came in a 3-1 win against Gommel. If I remember correctly, I thought he was injured. And I thought I brought him off and I hadn't. And he, he let fly with that. And I was like, all right, that works. Cool. Uh, so a brilliant strike. Finances. Now, in Belarus, we're not making a lot of money. Okay, It's already been pointed out that the stadium is some sort of uh, hedge fund for God knows what. We can't really uh, go into too much detail as to what's happening there. We're paying a lot for rent. And every uh, single penny that comes in and gate receipts is given to the landlords. So where the money goes, I don't know. We've upped our shirt sales though. We had no sales last year. 15, 15 shirt sales this year. Abramovich, Matyaj, Brinchuk, Shiznetsky and Selesnev are the big shirt sales. Um, I mean, there's only 15 of them. So really, if you're sold two, you're, you're in the top five, um, to be honest. So although also looking at how our attendances have been last season averaging 40 people that's almost half the ground have bought a shirt so yeah we're doing all right we're doing all right we're convincing these people to spend money in the club shop so that's good uh clean sweep on the, on the board for brinchuk really in terms of awards fans player of the season young player of the season signing of the season 
goal of the season we gave it to to, to Roshkov for, for quite a, a, a fantastic strike to me as, as you've just seen there um, and again most overall goals 27s Brinchuk most league goals 26 is Brinchuk uh, Govalenko Golovenko sorry has, has got the most uh, clean sheets Brinchuk has the most man of the matches um, yeah it's it's the Brinchuk awards to be honest this year um, and you know that's fine fastest goal Brinchuk youngest goal scorer not Brinchuk Kabyshev that's been and gone right this is what's happening now this is the highest league this is us in the big leagues okay we face Neman Grodno never heard of them but then again I've never heard of, of, of half the teams we've played um, and we've just gone about our business and done our thing so hopefully you know we're going to go in there 11 to 10 favorites we're 9 to 4 um yeah i get it i get the feeling that we're going to struggle this season okay we're going to expect it to do badly um the board are happy with how things are going you know of course they are we've been promoted they can't not be happy right but i think it's going to be a struggle this year i think we're going to have to battle bravely against relegation hopefully we can stay up um you know you can see the squad there a uh, few numbers in there that we've maybe brought in over the summer um quite a few come again we haven't really spent we have not spent any money because i don't think we need to spend money because we may end up sort of going back down next season um stanislav uh lamako's come in who i think is going to be quite an exciting youngster but we've also loaned him out already uh to aid his development now what you'll see is there's a lot of young players are coming in because in the belarusian first division you have to play with two under 20s and have four under 20s in your squad i think the rules are slightly different in the higher league where i think you only have to have two under 20s but we may need to consider that for next season so rather than getting a bunch of 25 year olds in let's get a bunch of 20 year olds so you know even if we do go down we're all ready for next year um, so yeah, so so Lamaco is going to go out and get some first team experience. Uh, Serigan has been brought in. He's uh, again twenty. Uh, the player's going to be much of a muchness. I think he might be okay. Um, probably playing just behind the strikers there in that number ten role. Um, he's come. He's come from the highest league club. Um, so you know, seven goals last season. Granted, in thirty three matches, but if you're playing just behind the strikers, that's not too bad a return. Uh, Anton Sorokin has come in, um, I think, from, uh, well, obviously, see there, originally from Grodno, um, but I don't think that's where he came from this summer. He actually came from uh, Branovici, so he played in the league that we were in last year. Uh, maybe didn't do a lot, but I think there's a player in there. I think there's a player. Uh, Stanislav, oh, God, Artrashkevich. This is just embarrassing, isn't it? Me trying to say... Eastern European names. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna change everyone and just give them nicknames. I reckon, but I think that's probably worse. Uh, he's a player as well. Old Stanislav. We'll give him a go. Uh, Rana Sofian. Now you may have seen him last year. We said that we looked at him. He scored goals against us, so I figured let's stop him scoring goals against us, and let's bring him in on a free transfer as well. So, 21 years old. I think he's got something about him, maybe. Um, Brinchuk is going to be under a lot of pressure to to play a lot of games. We're going to need options. Um, very happy to have got Kovlovich back on loan. Don't know how we've managed to do that. Don't know how we've managed to convince Volner to do it because you thought they would want to keep him to try and get promoted themselves. But we've managed to turn out a second season on the loan for him. So very happy with that. Uh, he's actually out of contract at the end of this season as well. We know what's going to happen. I can't. I can't get attached to him. We know he's not going to sign. I know he's not going to sign. But I need to convince myself that he is. Um, Nika Bazaria has come in as a left back. Again, it's probably better than what we already had. I think Rujin was is okay. Me, I don't know. He's out of contract, so I don't know whether I'm going to re-sign him or not. Kaborda is done all right, but I think defensively we need recruitment. We need strength, really. Uh, Zurabitsky here, again, right back, two and a half stars. It's not much better than what we have. 
um you know but we just need we need numbers and it's going to be tough hopefully these guys are going to be good enough and they're going to be up for the challenge anyway um and russ and schick there as well have come in from brest on loan and looks a pretty good midfielder to be honest six foot three quite imposing good stats there he's got some good attributes i think uh, to make him a good midfielder so I'm, I'm quite excited to see how he plays um, and unfortunately uh, Keiko left he's gone to to leader um, for a little bit of money uh, because he was out of contract in the summer so that's the changes to the squad the playing staff um, as we say Neman Grodno first match in the highest league to look forward to we're at home hopefully we might get some fans through the door. You never know. I mean, oh, imagine that! Imagine that if we play in front of fans. Imagine, imagine the pressure the players will be under. Um, let's see what pressure they're under. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that that is that is pretty straightforward. I think we're expected to do very badly. Um, Six hundred to one to win the league expectation finishing the relegation playoff it's going to be a challenge isn't it if we can do better than that that's going to be great but you know at least the expectation's low so that means that anything above that is a bonus that's how we need to look at it and if we don't succeed and we get relegated then you know we'll have a chat with the board and we'll see what happens so let's not think about that let's look at the match let's look forward to the start of a new season Golovenko and goal Kapsky, Grishishko, Smirnov, Bazaria makes his debut, Rusinchik makes his debut, Sorokin, Kovlovic, Seragin makes his debut, Saramaka and Brinchuk. That is the starting lineup against Grodno, and that is the team I believe in to kick us off in the highest league. It's a clean slate. That's what they need to remember. It's a clean slate. There's places up for grabs. No one's position is guaranteed at this point so we just have to go and do it and just put a bit of performance out try our best and if our best isn't good enough fans we've got fans genuinely got fans um oh right there okay so glory hunters is what we've got we're glory hunting fans you know there were no there were nowhere to be seen in division one the second you get into the highest league huh, they all come out don't they out of the woodwork those glory hunter other arsenal fans i mean they're very welcome they're very very welcome but um yeah could have done with them last year not that we'd have made any money of course on the tickets but um, it would have been nice to have some people in the ground to be honest Serigan charging forward and hits it and just wide just wide great effort to be honest um on his debut there, just giving the uh, giving the fans a little glimpse of what they might get to look forward to for the rest of the season. Um, as the ball's headed out of defence here, and he chases it down as Sorokin comes through. He's got a bit of desire on him, hasn't he? Oh, just tackled, and the ball's away, unfortunately. Grodno picked the ball up. We've got it back. Sorokin again. Sorokin drives forward, hits another one straight at the goalkeeper. He fancies it, doesn't he? Yeah, I said, you know, I said there was maybe a little player in there, just playing behind the uh, behind the strikers. So we'll see what he does. But that's two two decent efforts from Serigan earlier early in the first half. Less than half an hour gone. Six efforts, three on target. At the minute, they've not had a shot on target, which is fine as we approach half time. I'll absolutely take that. If we can go in nil nil at half time in our first match of the season, oh look at that XG we're ex we're doing all right. Point four, it's not great, but it's better than there, isn't it? Point one two. Got to be happy with that. Got to be happy. The plan, the basic plan, is you know, try not to lose our home games. Anything else is a bonus. Away match if we can get a draw, great. If we can get a win, great. Kovlovic, great ball through. Oh, Sorokin at the back post. Lovely save by the keeper, I think. Or was it just, may have missed because we've not had a corner. 
But that was a nice ball in from Kovlovic. That's why we kept him, because he's got he's got ability to put a ball in. An hour gone. Still nil-nil. All right, okay. Quite happy with this, to be honest. Still nil-nil. Nothing's happening. We've not really done much though in the second half. It's been quite quiet. Maybe Russian chick can come off. For Senko, maybe? Can we do that? Bazaria, Verugin. I think we should be fine with the youngsters. Um, maybe bring Sofian on, yeah. Okay, we'll bring Sofian on for uh, for Serigan. We've had a good game. Serigan has Serigan has had a good game, to be honest. Um, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll move... Um, Sofian up there, we're going to like a 4 4 2 almost. Oh, this game thinks it's a 4 2 4. It's not, it's a 4 4 2, really. Um, but let's have a little look and see what Sofian can do for us. Um, so I'm quite interested now. 15 minutes to go. Are we going for it? I suppose technically, are, aren't we? We might as well, you know, give it about 10 minutes. If nothing happens, then just shut up shop and, and take the point. So. Kovlovic, great ball in, Brinchuk. Oh, what a save. Penalty. We've got a penalty. Oh, okay. This is exciting. Who's going to take the penalty? Where's where's Brinchuk? Right, get Brinchuk on it. Oh, look at, this is brilliant, isn't it? 15 minutes to go. Penalty. I'm nervous now. I'm, I'm nervous. I, I don't know. I shouldn't be. I'm confident in Brinchuk. Hang on. That's not Brinchuk. Is that? Is that Govalenko? Surely not the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper can't be taking a penalty. Where, where's, where's Brinchuk? Come on. Right? There's got to be. There's no way. There's no way that they're going to. <laughs> why why is the goalkeeper taking the penalty I'll try to change it at what point at what point does goalkeeper taking penalty make sense oh don't oh you go oh This game, this game. Route one. Defenders just watch it. Ball drops out the air. And then I mean it's a decent it's a decent finish, but you gotta be disappointed. Gotta be disappointed there. Oh dear. I mean I suppose if Govalenko had scored the penalty I wouldn't be I wouldn't be kicking off, but why is he taking a penalty? Like, you saw me change it, right? You definitely saw me change it. <sighs> Never mind. Never mind. Saramaka ball in. Brinchuk! Brinchuk. That's what we're talking about. The man who couldn't stop scoring last season. Couldn't stop scoring. It's taken him 84 minutes to get one this year, but... Oh, that'll do. That's what we want. Is he onside? They're not going to chalk it off, are they? He's just onside as well. Saramaka with the ball in, and then just that reverse cut back. Uh, sends it the ball back where the goalkeeper's been coming from. So hopefully now, five minutes to go, we can get a point and so And that, you know what, that makes up for that penalty miss because we didn't deserve to lose this game. We haven't lost this game. We haven't lost it. The fans have seen us pick up a point because um, that would be embarrassing if they weren't here last season. And they've turned up this season and they see us lose after having a goalkeeper take a penalty for no reason. <sighs> it's fine. We've come away with a point. That's what we need. One point closer to safety. Good performance. Happy with that. Hope you guys are happy with it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're going to give the video a like. Drop some comments below. Things you think we need to improve upon. Probably still defence. Maybe, you know, pick set pieces and 
penalty takers before we start games. Um, you know, little things like that. Um, if you have enjoyed it, obviously subscribe as well to the channel. Turn those notifications on. Um, hopefully, you'll also enjoy. I've got a tier 10 save on the go as well on the channel. So hopefully, enjoy that as well. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back very, very shortly with another episode of The Journeyman. Thank you.